how did I go from running a 38-28-10k to a 31-51-10k in my early 40s when I'd only been running for three years? I've narrowed it down to five main reasons why I was able to do that. And I'm going to share them with you in this video. So let's just get straight into it. My name is Patrick Martin and in April this year I ran the London Marathon in 2 hours 24 minutes and 31 seconds. I was 42 years old at the time, I still am 42 years old, and I'd only been running for three and a half years. I'm now on a journey to try to run a 220 marathon. I'm sharing my progress in these videos so you can follow along. I'm going to count down from the least important to the most important. These are the things that work for me. I like to keep things simple, and so hopefully you'll get on that out these five simple points. So, number five is Get comfortable at your 10k pace. You need to get used to running at the pace you're going to be running the race in. And it sounds obvious, but there's so much information about out there about running at an easy pace in most of your training. Well, definitely you've got to run at an easy pace for a lot of your training. I think some people get caught up in thinking that oh, I'm just going to run easy the whole time and then go to a race and I'll be really fast or my pace is just going to improve. But believe me, I've tried and if you run easy for me if I ran easy all the time and didn't run fast when I went into a race and tried to run fast it would just be almost impossible because I just wouldn't be used to that fast pace and so in my training I'd make sure that I touch the higher speeds quite often because you need to get your body used to running that speed and feeling that uncomfortableness of running that high speed now I'm not saying go out and for me I'm not saying I didn't go out and do that all the time it was something that I did once or twice a week just to make sure I knew what the, what 10k pace felt like running easy all the time was too easy so I needed to feel that uncomfortableness and needed to feel what race pace felt like and very often I'd find in the race I'd actually run faster than what I thought my 10k pace was when I was training don't get me wrong you need to do the easy running as well but that's just mixed in with making sure you run a fast pace as well number four is run long runs long runs were a game changer for me when I started running 30 35 kilometers or two two and a half hour runs I found my 10k times reduce quite quickly because you're building up your strength, your aerobic fitness, your endurance, and you're getting stronger and you're just getting your body used to running and running a lot. Um, and it just brought those times down. It's doing it once a week is perfect for me because I don't get too tired. I don't get too fatigued. I'm able to, able to recover quite quickly and just run easy after I've done the long runs. I wouldn't do them any more than once a week. I did try it once and it was wasn't pretty. It was it was too hard. It was just I tried that three three or four in a week and no, never again because I think I started to get little niggles. Um and I just felt really tired. So I wouldn't suggest running more running long more than once a week unless you're training for some ultra. I'm not an expert on that. But long runs are brilliant and it makes it it makes a ten K seem much easier because you know you rank 30k 10k is nothing compared to that running long was is what helped me turn a corner in my running i didn't enjoy it very much um uh, i don't particularly enjoy running two and a half hours sometimes um especially when it gets painful towards the end but when i was started to train for a marathon i knew i had to do those runs but that really really helped my 10k pace improve my 10k endurance improve because at the end of the day running a 10k is an aerobic event as well as much almost as much as a marathon is so it's so important to just get aerobically fit strong and physically strong and also mentally mentally if you can run 30 35k in training on a sunday morning you can easily go and do a 10k number three is run at a steady pace and I find in my training if I run at a steady pace and that for me that's 
3 minutes 45 to 3 minutes 55 per kilometer. If I run that a lot, I can touch on the speed side of things quite frequently and it keeps me in touch with that and it doesn't fatigue me too much, it doesn't tire me out, I don't get injured from doing it. Um, it helps me keep a good form when I'm running. Whereas if I run a lot of easy pace run, run, runs, I find it very different to racing and and it almost feels like a, it's a big jump from running easy pace to running very fast in a race. So I think for me, running a lot of steady pace runs has really helped and I actually enjoy it more as well. It helps keep me motivated to go out and running. If I have to run at a very easy, very slow pace, I find that hard and I find that tiring, not motivating to go out and, and do it. Of course, easy pace runs have their place. And when you're recovering, when I don't feel like running steady, I'll run easy. But for a 10K, I think you really do need to keep in touch with speed. And for me, I needed to keep in touch with speed. So steady pace runs were, were the, oh, the perfect tool for that. Number two is save your best running for race day. Now, I can't state this enough. If you peak too soon then your best is not going to come out on, on the race day if you're training at race pace all the time and you're maxing yourself out because you think it's going to get you fitter you're probably actually going to start going backwards if i've trained too hard then i've got nothing left for the actual race and and for me i need to keep things back for the race i need to keep my my energy and my strength back for the race and this goes for months out from the race who just if, if i'm overdoing it months before the race I'll just gradually get more and more tired and I won't be able to run fast in the race so I'll save my best for race day even if that means running very conservatively like just steady easy pace for a long time and not really pushing as much as I possibly can then I'll do that like I said in the point number five the first one I think it's important to keep in touch with speed but there's a limit to that you not you want to you want to run fast. You want to get your legs used to running fast. You want to get your body used to running fast, but not a lot. It just needs to. You need to touch on that pace, feel that pace, know what it feels like, get a bit of that in every week, but not overdo it. So that when you come to the race, you're fresh and you're feeling good. There's nothing better than standing on that start line, knowing that you're fresh, you're ready to go. You've done all the training. You've done as much training as you can. You haven't overdone it. And you're like a, a coiled spring just ready to explode out there and run a PB. And number one for me is running lots of consistent mileage. Now this for me is by far number one. It's so important. Running high mileage consistently. And that for 10k training for me is similar to marathon training. So I can run 100 mile weeks even in 10k training because it works i know i'm going to get faster i know i'm going to get fitter i know i'm going to get stronger my endurance is going to get better for me i run lots of steady pace mileage and easy pace mileage and some speed in there as well and when i say consistent i mean consistent i mean day in day out getting out there and just running for me it was important as well because i narrowed most of my training down to one thing and that was consistent mileage i didn't worry about everything else there's a lot of noise out there about different types of training you should be do, doing different training methods that you should be doing. You should be doing this type of interval training. You should be doing this type of paced run. You should be doing 10 times, what times, whatever. Just get out there and run. If you've got any doubts, just get out there and run. Don't run too fast. Don't run too slow. Just run and enjoy it. And if you can do that consistently, you're going to get much faster at whatever race and that goes for 10k as well you're going to get much faster at a 10k i actually find 10k training very similar to marathon training in the sense that the more miles you do the more consistent miles you do the better the only thing with 10k training is that you want to add some speed in there as well like i said and you want to get used to race pace speed and you want to get used to the 10k speed but actually i find that also helps with the marathon too so the two are very similar and i think i could run a very good marathon off training just for a 10k and probably vice versa as, as well. Let me know in the comments if you've got any of your own tips of running fast 10Ks. Um, if you've had any experiences similar to me with 
running consistent high mileage or if even if you've run lots of fast mileage and you think that's helped you let me know i'd love to hear from you thanks so much for watching please follow along with my future videos i'm trying to run a 220 marathon at probably uh, 42 years old i'll be 42 maybe in, maybe when i'm 43 but i'm, I'm trying to get there like i say i've run a 224 marathon when i was 42 so i'm trying to get quicker as i get older and it should be interesting so thanks for following thanks for subscribing for liking see you soon